Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is power of two and subsequences. So as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be proceeding to the coding part. So before getting started with the problem statement, make sure to subscribe my channel. If you haven't subscribed my channel till now, it will really motivate me to create more such content for you. And make sure to join our telegram community too. The link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself. So with that now, let's get started with the problem statement. So problem says that we are having an array A. The size is N, right? So for the cell, we are having the size N. We have to turn the number of non-empty subsequences that such that the product of all numbers in the subsequence is power of 2. Since the answer may be too large, return it modulo 10 power 9 plus 7. Okay, so what they are expecting from us is that our parts is an array, its size is n. Right, so what we have to do is we have to return the count, its sorry, uh, return the number of non-empty subsequences. Okay, so we have to return non-empty subsequences such that the product of the numbers जो सब्सिक्वेंस में हमारे प्रेजेंट है दिस शुड बी दिस शुड बी पावर ऑफ 2 राइट तो प्रोडक्ट जो होना चाहिए वो पावर ऑफ 2 होना चाहिए तो आंसर बड़ा हो सकता है राइट तो दैट्स व्हाई दे आर आस्किंग अस टू रिटर्न इट मॉडुलो 10 पावर 9 प्लस 7 ठीक है सो हियर इज अ एग्जांपल फर्स्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जांपल तो n की वैल्यू यहां पर 3 है एंड जो हमारा एरे है उसमें एलिमेंट्स है 1 6 2 तो यहां पे आप देखोगे 1 इज इट अ पावर ऑफ 2 यस इट इज 2 पावर 0 क्या होता है 1 6 is it a power of 2? No, right? 2 is it a power of 2? Yes. 2 pe power 1 is 2. So, yeah. So, yeah, but you have this element and this element is 2 ke power. Right? So, we can use the subsequence form. What is the subsequence? 1, 1, 2, and 2. Right? So, total, how many count do we have in the subsequence? Ke? 3. Right? So, that's what our answer is. The subsequence that can be chosen is 1, 2, and 1, 2. Okay. Uh, here's our next example where n equal to 3 we do have and array in array we have elements 3 5 7 the output that we are having is 0 now here you can see that there is no element in this is which is the power of 2 ho. right so we have 0 hai. now our task is uh, our task is to complete the function number of subsequences which takes an integer n and an array a and returns the number of subsequences that exist. As this number can be very large, return the result under modulo 10 power 9 plus 7. Now, expected time complexity is big of n, and we are expecting constants based on my side. Okay, so I think we are done with the problem, and I believe that most of you must be able to understand it. Now comes the logic part. So, if one thing you will clearly observe here, right, that uh, See, the number that we are choosing to form the subsequences are those numbers or those elements itself which is already a power of 2. For example, this 1 you chose, right? Or this 2 you chose, right? So, they are power of 2, right? And here if you will see, this, there is no such number which is a power of 2. If even one number was there, let's say 2 was there. So, uh, how many number of subsequences were possible in that scenario? Just one, right? Okay. So, Okay, so one thing that we can figure out is that first of all, we need the count of the elements that we have in an array which are power of 2. Okay, so once you got the count, once you got the count, so how many possible subsequences we can have? 2 pay power count minus 1. Is it right? Hope you must be getting me. Right? For example, if you have example, so here. कौन से नंबर है जो कि हमारे फॉर्म कर रहे हैं जो कि हमारे पावर ऑफ 2 है 1 as well as 2 right तो हमारे काउंट कितना हो जाएगा 2 हो जाएगा एंड देन व्हाट वी कैन सिंपली रिटर्न इज वी कैन सिंपली रिटर्न 2 पे पावर काउंट काउंट इज 2 2 पे पावर 2 दैट इज 4 minus 1 आंसर इज 3 दैट वुड बी अ आंसर राइट तो बस हमें इतना करना है and जैसे कि यहाँ पे बोला है कि answer बड़ा हो सकता है, so we have to return it more to 10 power 9 plus 7. So इसको हमें थोड़ा consider करना रहेगा that we be saying in the code part itself. Now the question comes that how you will determine whether a given number is a power of 2 or not? How you will determine it? Just think about it. 
So let's understand just a simple thing is there. Okay. So let's say we are having a number four. If I were binding representation, they can so that is one zero zero. If we have uh, number eight, this is also power of two. So what is the binding representation? One zero zero zero. Okay. Now, um, how you can say that this number four or this number eight or let's say we have number two itself, right? So what is the binary representation? One zero. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you must be getting it right. So just one bit is set first of all just one bit is set if a number is what a power of two. okay cool so how you will determine that a given number is a power of two so if you will take this number four and you know uh, we are going to do bitwise and bit three okay so one zero zero and what is the binary representation of three zero one one okay so as if just one bit is set right so this one Right, this one bit is there. Okay, so if you will do the bitwise end, right? So I, I believe that you must be aware about bitwise end. Okay, bitwise end, what is the thing? That if both the bits are one, only then the output is going to be one, otherwise, it is going to be zero. Okay, so here you can see one bitwise end with zero, you'll be having zero, 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 zero. Okay, so that's what we'll be having. So, what we can say, what we can say for a given number, for a given number, if we are doing the bitwise end with n minus one, okay. And if the output is right and if, okay, I mean, like if we are getting the result as zero, so what we can say, what we can conclude that the given number is a power of two, right? Okay, if you want to check for other numbers, so if we are having eight, it by line with seven, so eight is one zero zero zero, and seven is one one one, right? And so for this one, what would be the value? Zero, right? So hope you must have, you must have understood it, right? So this is the simple logic that we'll be using to determine if a given number is a power of two or not. So you know, just have a look here. What we are doing is that um, okay, so for int i equal to zero, i less than n, i plus plus. So if a of i and a of c, whatever element that we do have, right? So we are doing the bitwise end elements that we do have in array a. So we are doing uh, a of i bitwise end with a of i minus. So if it is equal equal zero, what we can conclude is that the given number is a power of two. So we are simply implementing the value of count, right? We need the count, right? So how many elements are there in the array which are already like a power of two? Okay. So once we got that count, what next we have to do is once you got the count, let's say when we were having uh, zero one two, I think that's what we were having, right? So zero one two. So what was the count in that case? Just zero and this zero and this Okay, sorry, this one and two, sorry, not zero. This one and two, they both are, they both are what? They both are power of two. Okay, so the count was what? Two. And how many possible subsequences we were having in that case? So two to the power two, that would be four minus one. So simply our uh, answer would be power of two, two pay power, two pay power count minus one. But as if the result they have already specified, right, that is going to be very large. So what we're going to do is we are simply doing, like, see, if you have two pay power count, count value is, let's say, let's say it is, what we can do is we can simply multiply, right, we can simply multiply. So that's what we are doing here is that till the time count value is greater than zero, we have taken this variable answer, it has been initialized with one. See, I'm taking time and explaining the things, you know, uh, so that you can grab it, you can understand whatever we are explaining. I know you will be able to understand, but it's still I'm trying from my end. So what we are doing is answer equal to answer into two, modulus with, uh, modulus with mod, right? So answer is what one initially, then one into two, right? And then uh, we are decrementing the value of count, so it is going to be one. If we are taking the case of zero, one, two, okay? Zero, one, two case if we are taking, okay? And count value is written zero, yes it is. Then answer would be what? That would be two, right? It has been updated. So two into two again we'll be having four, four mod. Uh, this mod we have, right? So this is the value, right? And uh, then we are simply decrementing count, and count would be zero this time. So what is the value in the answer? That is four, four minus one is three, and that would be return. Okay. I hope you must be able to understand, right? I tried from my end. Uh, okay, just go through the video once. Still, if there is, you know, something you were not able to understand, just go through the video once. I hope you'll be able to understand. So that's it from my side. Thank you so much for watching. You can find the code in the description itself.
Bye everyone.